Style at Maastricht University, we have two teaching methods, problem-based learning and problem-based research. Uh, immediately after lecture, you will have tutorial and you will discuss, you will receive problem or task which is related to the lecture. Uh, then, during this tutorial, you should brainstorm, discuss this uh, problem, define this problem, make a concept, come up with learning objectives and try to find solution of this problem. Twice a year we have project period and this time we are practicing research-based learning. Students also divided in small groups but the problem which they will face, the answers on this problem it's, couldn't be found in internet or uh, elsewhere. So therefore they have to come up with answers by themselves. So they should define this problem, make a concept, design experiments uh, execute these experiments in the lab and first of all very important this experiment should be feasible and then after this if they will succeed or not doesn't matter they will have answered their problem and I really enjoy this uh, way of uh, studying because you um, basically we have a tutorial we get a task we define some questions and we will look up in literature uh, how to answer these questions and then in a post tutorial we will discuss this uh, among all the students and with our teachers and get feedback if we need to go more in depth in some specific parts. And also the diversity of our class, which is a very small class, um, helps you learn more from your peers and understand more uh, in various directions which you might yourself not be so specified in. And you can teach uh, other people more about your specifications which just broadens your horizon. We have actually three types of assessments depending on the course. So for regular courses and compulsory and elective courses, we have written exams and some other type of competency related exam, including writing a proposal, uh, some sort of oral presentation, uh, lab report, etc. Then uh, for project period, that where we practice research-based learnings, we have students uh, write a proposal and also present uh, and defend their results as a group oral communication. And master thesis, which is the, the third class of uh, courses that we have, involves a proposal midway assessment and an oral presentation and a written thesis at the end. For instance, in the course I teach, bio-based materials, uh, students have a written exam at the end of the course but we also have uh, assessment related to the skills training we do. The students are preparing a proposal during the course and at the end this uh, written proposal is assessed. But we also ask students to present their proposal and defend it for a critical audience. And that's then the third assessment we do uh, for that course. Um, I really like the diversity of the assessments they have in BBM. So we have eight weeks during our projects. So we have exams, lab reports and an assignment. It varies depending on the courses or the period, but overall I find it very fair, the evaluation. Uh, you just have to get used to the pace of the master program. Being introduced to everyday and existing and current problems uh, makes you feel very involved in the current problems that need to be solved. And at this point in the Masters you're supposed to be a scientist and this is also something you're being assessed on. And it kind of promotes and motivates you to have your own views, your own inputs and your own ideas when you're conducting research. We have project periods uh, twice a year, in January and in June. Uh, th these uh, projects are research-based learning. So um, students will receive or they will come out with tasks. They are first divided into small groups and they have different tasks and each time they have different tasks. For the project period, uh, there are two project periods and for each one uh, it's uh, four weeks of work that you not only learn from yourself from the lab skills but also from your colleagues. Uh, so the first one I did is uh, uh, we extract a character from the wool and I blend it with uh, polylactic acid, uh, PLA in short, uh, to increase its mechanical property. Last project period I was working together with two peers of mine. We were reinforcing PLA with hemp fibers. 
That was actually a really good project and we got quite great results, but then only for results and not for they actually helped reinforcing the PLA. Um, but however, I really liked the project and now my thesis project that I'll be doing as of next year will be really closely related. So Master Thesis takes place on the second year of the Master Studies and it's a, an opportunity for students to actually perform independent research and practice further their research and scientific skills. So students have to first come up with a proposal or a proposal plan for their thesis. Then they need to execute the work and analyze the data. And finally, they need to defend it as an oral communication and also put together a written uh, thesis at the end. The duration of uh, master's thesis project is 32 weeks. And uh, normally we have defense and presentation and defense in June. And finally, graduation is in July. Um, the students uh, are free to find different kinds places where they can perform master thesis project. Uh, most of them stay here at Camelot side because we have a lot of companies and uh, our students are very welcome to, um, to perform the master thesis project there. Some of them staying at our institute, Aachen Maastricht Institute Bio-based Materials. And of course they are free to go abroad and some of students are also going abroad to perform this master thesis there. So what I'm doing now is uh, uh, using uh, cellulose nanocrystals uh, to grow polymers on it and to develop a new uh, polymer nanocomposite that can be printed to replace your jawbone tissue. Uh, so as for my master thesis, I think uh, it's very important to devote yourself into the work that you are doing and uh, try to understand it and read more and learn more and discuss more with uh, uh, both your supervisor and uh, your colleagues. At the moment I'm working on a research project together um, with Ghent University for my thesis and um, my project is about the valorization of waste streams into high performance materials, for example materials for water purification. Um, so as director, I also uh, I am the study advisor for the master students. So actually, uh, master students can make appointments with me to discuss concerns about their studies, uh, uh, you know, any issue they had with a course or a study plan, and I. Uh, take care of all the advising in that aspect and if necessary I also may assign them to external or internal coaches if they have questions related to research skills or professional skills they want uh, to ask someone about. Guidance is really good. Uh, I think it's a really personal treatment with people here. Like for example if there is a concern in the group it's easily to go and approach the people and just tell them what is going on and they easily help us to solve it. They don't treat you like a teacher and a student way, but more as your colleagues. So it's very um, uh, very helpful, helpful for us. Um, you can ask them uh, several questions, whether even if it's not their course, you can also ask them. 